This is the starting point of the well. The construction of a well affects the safety and quality of the water it produces. For example, a well's casing, the tube that is inserted to hold the well hole open, should extend 8 to 12 inches above the ground to keep out surface water, as surface water can carry contaminants into the well water. This is the well cap. The type of cap covering this well's casing is a sanitary well cap. It has a watertight seal to keep out bugs, rodents, floodwaters, and more. Traditional well caps do not provide this protection. The ground surface around a well casing should slope away from the well. This is called surface slope. It will direct surface water runoff away and help reduce potential contamination. This is the grout seal. When a well is drilled, the borehole is made several inches wider than the casing, allowing for ease of installation. This extra space outside the casing should be filled, at least 20 feet down, with a clay or cement seal to prevent contaminants from entering the well through that leftover gap. A pitless adapter attaches the well casing to the water line. The water line from a well to a home must be a minimum depth underground to keep it from freezing in winter. For example, in Pennsylvania, the line must be around 4 feet underground, and in other parts of the Northeast, as great as 6 feet. This pitless adapter eliminates the old-fashioned and unsanitary use of an underground access pit. You are in the subsoil layer. Water from above ground filters down through soils, which can be a mixture of sand, silt, rocks, or clay, before reaching a well. The makeup of subsoil layers differs based on your location. The water table is an underground boundary between the saturated layer of soil and rocks below and the area above, where spaces and cracks are not filled with groundwater. To fill with water, a well needs to be drilled deeper than the water table. This is bedrock. In the mid-Atlantic region of the United States, many modern wells are drilled into bedrock and receive water from fractures and cracks in this rock. The best practice is for the well casing to extend several feet into the bedrock to help prevent unwanted contamination. Here is the well pump. Water drains from the bedrock and soils into a well's borehole. To get the water into a home, a pump pulls this water up to the surface. A submersible style pump, as seen here, is installed below the water table. You are now 145 feet below ground at the bottom of the well. Some water wells are over 300 feet deep and some are less than 50 feet deep. It all depends on the depth of available water that will flow readily into a well.